TIFU by getting to the airport one day after the flight departure. Note, this happened 10 years ago but I can still remember it like it was yesterday in the rush of excitement for an international trip from New Delhi. I made a blunder about the date of my flight. I confidently arrived at the airport around 8 p.m. on August 5th, only to realize, to my horror, that my flight was the day before. Since the flight was at 1 a.m., I had remembered the date of flight as the date of getting to the airport. Anyway, the security officer couldn't find my reservation. Admitting my mistake, I rushed to the airline counter. Luckily, they helped me secure a seat on the next day's flight for a $250 change fee. Once I got my revised ticket, I dialed the business waiting for me, apologizing for the delay caused by a flight mix-up. Lesson learned. Always double-check dates. Boarding the next day, I was grateful for the chance to embark on the journey. Now armed with a newfound sense of caution and a bit of embarrassment as a travel companion. TLDR. My excitement for an international trip turned into a frantic scramble when they arrived at the airport a day late, leading to a costly last-minute ticket change and apologies for a delayed arrival at their destination. I once had a flight from Seattle to Singapore at 11.37 p.m. so a nice evening flight. Now, my parents don't live in Seattle. They live across the water in Kitsap County. I packed up my stuff the night before and I randomly woke up the next day pretty early at like 6.40. I think my girlfriend, who it was already daytime for, messaged me and asked for the time of the flight at around 7.10. I pulled up the ticket and noticed it was 11.37 a.m. Not p.m. and I had to some very quick math. I need to get there at least two hours before. Preferably three because it's international. But at least two hours. So I need to be at the airport by 9.30. Okay, the train from downtown Seattle to the airport takes 35 minutes and runs every 10 minutes so i need to be at the station by 8 50. the ferry to seattle takes 35 minutes so i need to be on a ferry that leaves before eight o'clock to allow myself walking time to get from the ferry terminal to the train station okay so let me check the ferry schedule there is one at 7 55 a.m the next one isn't until 8 55 so i need to be on that 7 55 a.m ferry if i miss it I am done. It takes 15 minutes to drive from my parents' house to the ferry and it is 7.25. I very quickly told my parents that we needed to be in the car now. They dropped me at the ferry and I made the right ferry, got the right train, and made it on the plane. But it was so much tension. I once arrived at Dublin Airport a day early. I got to JFK for my flight. They told me bag was too heavy. I was going on a very extended trip. I threw away 15 pounds of belongings to make the flight. Bag made weight. Then they told me my flight was tomorrow. I do a lot of business travel so I'm typically fairly good with making travel plans. However, a few years ago when I showed up at Minneapolis Airport to board my flight the Southwest Kiosk couldn't check me in. I went over to the ticket counter and asked the agent if she knew what the problem was. The agent smiled and said I had indeed booked the ticket for the correct date. The only problem was that it was for the following year. Duh! My credit card came out to buy a much more expensive ticket. And I learned a lesson that day. I did this with a job interview once. If it helps while in Erasmus with limited financial situation I fly to Amsterdam on low cost to visit friends and when coming back the airplane ticket wouldn't work only to find out I book it to the exact same day a month afterwards. To top it I had to buy a really expensive flight that included return because it was cheaper go. Figure. I ended up with a flight from Amsterdam to Slovenia for one month afterwards and another one for four 
months afterwards the other way around. I live in Melbourne, Australia. I once flew up to Byron Bay to be a bridesmaid. The plan was to then fly to Sydney, where I would go straight from the airport to my birthday party. I had several friends from the wedding doing the same. Unfortunately, when I was checking in, I was informed my flight was booked for the following day. So I had to pay $650 to get another flight and I was two hours late to my own birthday party. Oops. I was flying with my mom from Singapore. Our boarding gate closed at 1350 hours but my mom mistaken it as the boarding gate opens time. I food because instead of clearly saying, we need to go. Our boarding gate closes at 1350 hours, I just kept telling my mom to hurry up. She got irritated with me. Because I was rushing her to eat her lunch. Go to the bathroom and filling up her bottle after customs we got to the gate at 1349 hours and she only realized her misunderstanding when the staff packed their things up and were saying over the walkie talkies the last passengers had come through. I was extremely stressed because this was at the end of February 2020. My country was going to start blocking international flights or make you quarantine for two weeks. I didn't know if we could even get on another flight home at this stage. The work policies changed weekly. If not every second day. I work in a hospital. It was a big lesson in communication for me. If it's any consolation, I showed up at a hotel with a reservation one year into the future in Montana back in 2017 woman facepalming was in NZ with two friends and all three of us didn't realize our flight was taking off as we were driving back to Auckland. We even had a hotel for the night. Scrambled to get a new flight to Fiji the next day. Showed up for that and it was delayed. Ending up being delayed for days. They put us in a hotel. Luckily, we were able to extend the trip and push everything back. We also had to call airlines because since we missed that flight, they cancelled our return trips back to the States. I had the sweetest woman from Qantas who said I would be charged $500 but the charge never came. Through and I made it home. A friend of mine planned this big trip to Europe with his girlfriend. The night they go to the airport, he notices his passport is expired. Not really that similar at all but this reminded me of something. I had a short flight leaving at noon. So 10 am should have been fine. This is not a huge airport so actually 11 am would usually be fine. 2. 9 am if you're the anxious type. I was there at 6 am. The lines. All of them every step of the way. Were long. I had zero hiccups like luggage weight issues or being picked for a random search or whatnot. They'd already started boarding by the time I made it through. Unsurprisingly I think a lot of people didn't make the flight. Also, in the first line there was a woman of a similar age in front of me. We started talking and basically became friends until we boarded. When I arrived at the tiny airport for the flight back I got through everything within like 15 minutes and there she was. Already waiting. We were the first people there and caught up until boarding started again. We never exchanged details, not even our names LMAO and I've never seen her again. I booked a flight for my mill to visit us. The flight was at 2.30. Just before they left for the airport. I realized the flight time was 24 hours format. And it actually was 2.30 am and not 2.30 in the afternoon. Luckily we were able to book next day's 2.30 am flight again. I was catching a train that was very tight. So I run up to the ticket window to ask what platform given it was a big station. The lady at the counter told me the number and pointed. I can't remember what I asked but I had another question and she just pointed again and said, run. I started running and jumped on as the train was already moving. Phew. Hi chat GPT. 
If it makes you feel any better we had family friends show up to my sister's wedding a week late. They joined in the celebration for quite a while before they realized they didn't know anybody who was there. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.